Hi guys, Dr. Tom here, and one of the coolest adaptations of spiders is their ability to use webs to actually capture their prey. And the webs help spiders because they allow them to catch their prey without actually having to run them down. And because of this, it provides a very energy efficient way for the spider to gather food. As it turns out, spiders also build their webs in an organized and systematic manner. And they start by producing a sticky thread that drifts off on the breeze that is blowing. When this thread eventually sticks to an object on the other side, the spider tightens and strengthens the strand and then makes it the foundational strand for the overall web. The spider then starts to make V-shaped strands that extend outwardly or radially from the center. And finally, the spider strengthens the center of the web with circular strands as it works its way from inside out. And so when your students are ready to start constructing their web, you want to make sure that they find something that they can build across a gap, like a hollowed out paper plate maybe, or a cookie sheet works really well too, uh, or a piece of foam board that's been cut out in the middle, that works very well too. And then they want to go ahead and start to build the foundational strand and that might take one or two uh, pipe cleaners but they build that foundational strand across the gap and then they start adding additional outward radial strands to kind of form the foundation of the web and they do that kind of like pie pieces and kind of form those foundational strands and when they finish that then they can actually start to add the circular strands starting from the inside and working their way out until they get a pretty realistic model of a spider web that they've constructed and that takes a few minutes uh, some kids are going to take longer than others of course but you just got to give them some time to do that and uh, they should have a pretty uh, functional model of a spider web overall and once that's done then you can also talk about the fact that spiders normally go back and they replace some of the circular strands with stickier strands that are designed to actually capture and hold on to prey. So to simulate that, you can take some pieces of double stick tape and actually add that to the uh, circular strands so they get a little part of their web that's actually a lot stickier. And then they can take a simple model of an insect and drop it on the web or kind of touch it gently on the web and see if they can actually get it to stick to the web like an insect would normally stick to a web uh, with a real spider in a realistic situation. And so that's kind of it overall. If you want to, you can go ahead and show the spider coming in for the kill, but then you can emphasize the fact that spider webs are really highly engineered objects and they're great adaptations that have helped spiders to survive for millions of years. So we hope you like this STEM challenge and good luck with it.